the summer before his senior year, Ja, barely six foot and only 150 pounds, attends a two-day tournament in the hopes of finally being noticed. I got added to the camp late. It was like, if I don't call your name, then go to the other gym. My name wasn't called, so I went to the back gym. James Kane from Murray State University was there recruiting another player in the main gym when he got hungry. He was directed down a hallway to a concession stand. I ordered some Doritos and, and uh, soda. I was able to hear the balls bouncing in the auxiliary gym. <laughs> Ended up peeking his head in the gym and was watching for a couple minutes. And, um, I guess that's when he seen me. Just a few minutes of watching Ja, you just knew he was special. I called my boss right away and said, you got to come up here and see this kid. You got it. There you go, Ja. There you go. There you go. Perfect back door, Ja. Right from the beginning, superstar Java Rant let everyone know whose gym they were sitting in. One thing I really look for in recruiting, I want guys who love the game, uh, who want to become the best player they're capable of being, uh, obviously who want to win. And I think that's what we have to sell here at Murray State. But every time the Gators would score, Morant relentlessly came back some more sauce before it was all over. Allowing the crowd to flex for him. And as the battle between him and Grant continued, he got down and dirty in the paint as well. But it was only fitting to be immediately combated by Mr. Singleton. And of course, Mr. Moran wouldn't let that slide, adding a three of his own while drawing a foul for three free throws as well, possibly bringing the Knights within one. But surprisingly, Morant missed all three. He couldn't even believe it himself. That would ultimately hand the game over to the Gators, who won 70 to 57. And both teams showed the proper respect after the game. On September 2nd, 2016, John ja Morant committed to play D1 college basketball at Murray State. Starting at guard, a 6'3 freshman from Donzell, South Carolina, number 12, Ja Morant! There's a path to get here, to this stage, to this point, and it starts the same for everyone. It starts with a dream, a court, and a ball. But the path isn't set in stone. It weaves and dries. It slashes and cuts through obstacles. It is first created and then taken. 
then changed, then taken again. This path isn't preordained. It isn't gifted to you. You aren't anointed anything until you've earned it. Underneath finds Johnson wide open, blocked by the wrist! And after leading Murray State to the NCAA tournament his freshman year, Ja, who had grown to six foot two, was named team captain heading into his sophomore year. Over the summer, I was starting to hear that he's not just a good player, he's really good. He had Alabama early on their schedule. Let's see what he's like when he goes on the road and plays at Bama. In November, Ja put on a show in Tuscaloosa, notching 38 points, nine rebounds, five assists, and this. After the game, I got on the bus. They was just like, look at your phone. Like, wow. It was at the time where nobody really knew me, honestly. But after that game, it was just different. Going to Moran for the time of hard dunk. It became, what did Jod do yesterday? He put up ridiculous numbers, and it was the way he did it. Along the way, Jod led the nation in assists and averaged over 24 points a game. Then came the NCAA tournament, March 21st, 2019. With the nation watching, Morant led 12 seed Murray State Three for against the five seed Marquette. Left-handed shovel pass, where'd that come from? Yeah, he was the surgeon with a scalpel in each hand cutting him up. Backdoor cut, Morant, oh, shoot this to jam! 17 points, 16 assists, 11 rebounds. It was just as dominant a performance as if you're ever going to see in an NCAA tournament setting. The undersized unknown kid became a household name. Talking with my family, I just, we decided that I would be declaring for the 2019 NBA Draft. And I want to give a shout out to Coach James Kane for um, coming to a back gym and finding me and really giving me the opportunity to play here at Murray State. the most box office star in the NBA. John Morant is something spectacular. He's not good. He's not just great. He's spectacular. You walk through the turnstiles to see this brother play. You understand? He's AI 2.0. I'm looking at the front of him. Look at the windmill. Head on the rim. Who would have finished the English that he's able to do in basketball. Oh, he's coming down. The angels are a bit of what is giving Bobby. Not clear the defensive plan. Oh, God. As the kid 
would say he caught a body. <laughs> John Morant, I'm saying this right now, he's going to be an MVP in this league. Whoa! No, he's going to be an MVP in this league, and he's going to be arguably the best player in the game. I am saying that. I'm going on the record to say that right now. I mean, the kid, he's fearless, right? He has been If you're projected to be a number two pick now, did you, I'm going to be, be honest with you, in high school, did you really think at that time that you were the number two best player in, in your class? Well, I always had the confidence in myself that I was the best player, but if you had to ask me when you no know, colleges were contacting me, I, I would have probably told you that I don't even think I could have played D1 exactly. because of no colleges contacting me. So it was times where I questioned myself and doubted myself. Well, I'm good enough. For Super special, um, you know. And uh, you know, like I said, um, we just played in LA. The Memphis got a great, got a great one. So, uh, the sky's the limit for the kid.